What's up, guys? Your boy Benny. A couple of decades ago, George H.W. Bush was president, and somebody asked him what a gallon of milk cost. And Bush was like, I don't know. And that was a real problem for George H.W. Bush. You know, most people buy milk, and they know the cost of milk, and that's an important thing. And it showed him to be an elitist a hole who didn't know the struggles of the common man. And this is, of course, something that happens when you've lived your entire life, like George H.W. Bush did, uh, working inside the organs of government. He was a CIA director, right? He's a member of Congress, Senate, vice president. Like He like lived on the taxpayer dole. And he lived completely outside. And he, he lost his election, right? So he was running. He was very unpopular. And he lost his election in spite of the fact that Reagan was one of the most popular presidents of all time. So George H.W. Bush, a one-term president, and um, was looking down the barrel of just being incapable of connecting with people. It's funny how like these little, these little like tactile things, you know, that all of us like connect with and touch on a daily basis, how those things matter to the electric, kind of like a cell phone. When you're talking on a cell phone, you have a cell phone, every, every human being living in a first world country has a cell phone. Your, your grandmother has a cell phone. My grandmother has a cell phone. Like we know how to use these devices because they're with us all day. You could argue that's a good or a bad thing, but it is what it is. And so when you see somebody talking on a cell phone and doing it in a way that is inauthentic and not real, it really like hits home. Okay. And this has been a major problem for Kamala Harris. All right. Like starting with uh, Kamala Harris uh, standing in the middle of the field uh, after Joe Biden and the Democrat Party and the superstructure around them were able to uh, dilute the value of the American voter uh, enough in order to push Joe over the finish line magically. Uh, in 2020, Kamala Harrison. We did it. We did it, Joe. You're going to be the next president of the United States. <laughs> okay, so we wasn't talking to Joe Biden there, clearly. This is something that they, like, stopped in the middle of the field and filmed. This was something that was put upon, and people saw this, and was like, this is really, really cringe. And Kamala Harris continues, though, to do this with Joe Biden. Recently, Kamala Harris was on a recorded phone call with Joe Biden, and... We say we say recorded because Kamala Harris said it's a recording and effectively had like the same the, the, a similar style conversation, deeply inauthentic, uh, deeply cringe and something that like not the way normal people talk. Um, can we just give it up again for my husband? <laughs> my husband. Um, it is so good to hear our president's voice. Joe, I know you're still on the on the call. On the record. And we've been talking. Every, Joe, I know you're still on the Rick uh, on the call. Every day. Um, you they probably, don't. you guys heard it from Doug's voice. We love Joe and Jill. We really do. They truly are like family to us. And we do. Everybody here does. It's <laughs> mutual. <laughs> I knew you were still there. You're not going anywhere, Joe. Oh, I'm watching you, kid. Does that look like a happy face? Is this like the person who's happy that <laughs> Biden isn't going anywhere? <laughs> look at the look at the look at the actions, look at the manners, look at everything that she does. Like you could see it all. You could see it all. Does this look like a, a face of joy? This look like a face of somebody who's happy that Joe Biden isn't going anywhere. Kamala Harris cringe on Kamala. the phone calls. Hi. Okay, so so she <laughs> so she gets handed a phone. So first off, she gets handed a phone as she's walking. She has her whole video team there. She has a microphone on. All right, she has a microphone attached to her test. This is Kamala Harris getting her little Barack Obama endorsement, okay? Because obviously she's the Barack Obama candidate. Barack Obama hand chose her, and, it, and Barack Obama's entire team is like running this entire campaign. What you are getting is Obama's like fourth, fifth, and sixth term here. So Barack Obama uh, on a recorded call calling Kamala, Kamala Harris. Hi. Hey there. Oh. You're both together. Oh, it's good to hear you. This both. is not true. I, I I can't have this phone. Why are you talking on speakerphone with your phone up to your ear? Why are you doing that? Everybody knows this is not how you talk on speakerphone with the phone up to your oh, ear. That. Why are you doing that? This is like not not how phones work. Kamala Harris continues this again. It's just like simple, very simple, like 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 very simple, small lies that we can all see with our own two eyes, like Kamala Harris getting on a plane today. We can all see it with our own two eyes. Like Kamala's lying, she's lying to us. It's inauthentic. It's not real. We all have cell phones. You can see it. Here's Kamala Harris. Uh, on her 
on her tethered earbuds. I, I don't, I have a phone. You can't even put, you can't, there's not even an ear jack for that anymore on her tethered earbuds talking on the phone so that she's avoiding the press. Watch this. She's out of the phone. She does her salute. She doesn't take her earbuds out. She, she makes sure that people can see her tethered earbuds because if they, if they were just like uh, AirPods, you wouldn't be able to see them. So she has like the tether out so that no one can ask her a question. And here she goes getting up the plane. And then you can see here, <laughs> she's got the phone to her head just like with the speaker phone nobody talks like that the earbud it wouldn't even work why is the phone up near your ear if you have your earbuds in the point of the earbuds is to take the volume from the phone and put it into your ear why would you do that none of it makes sense it's all a lie they're lying to you Kamala is now wearing headphones and pretending to be chatting away to avoid questions from the press. Dumbest trick in the book, she's a total actress. Kamala Harris wears headphones to avoid answering questions from reporters. She holds her phone up to her ears, pretending to be on uh, th them to be on while she's ill. Kamala Harris is called out for sneaky tactic to avoid answering questions from press. The headline that Kamala Harris is getting here. Uh, American hostages get killed and she's literally blocking out questions. Physically blocking out questions. Here's the, uh, here's the, professional photo is this how hey d d have you ever used headphones is this how they work it's all a lie the whole thing is a fraudulent can't really get over the fact that kamala is using old school apple headphones to avoid talking to the press that's right these like tethered headphones these haven't been around for like 10 years we've had a lot of shenanigans for this lady this might be the most pathetic one to date feels like her campaign specifically had to use these old school headphones to make the point that she's on the phone and she couldn't interact that's exactly right they're staging something it's staged she's not qualified is what everyone says she pill put the phone to her ear. This is like the, the price of milk question. We all know, like we've all bought gallons of milk. We all use headphones. We've all used cell phones. Totally unfit to be president. She's wearing headphones while getting in and out of the motorcade to avoid reporters. Her running mate, Tim Walls, made sure that he waltzed away when asked a question. Well, <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Tim Walls runs away from questions, the dead hostages in Gaza. Kamala puts on, on the old I'm on the phone trick. Shouldn't be too bit difficult to answer questions. Kamala's own team saying, uh, no, she can't actually answer questions because she's too busy campaigning. Well, no, she's not. 2024 campaign interviews, 34 interviews, one interview. Since August 6th, 34 interviews for Trump, one interview for Kamala. One time Kamala Harris was at her plane. She was at the plane. She used Girl Scouts. She literally used Girl Scouts as a human shield to prevent answering questions. We, of course, know why she didn't ask or uh, answer any questions. Because the last time she had to answer a question on CNN, it went like this. This is your cringe alert. <laughs> you about your opponent donald trump okay. um i was a little bit surprised people might be surprised to hear that you have never interacted with him met him face to face mm -hmm. that's going to change soon but what i want to ask you about is what he said last month he suggested that you happened to turn black recently for political purposes mm -hmm. questioning a core part of your identity yeah. any same old tired playbook Next question, please. <laughs> That's it? That's it.